Hi everyone, Pastor Nan Schreer. I'm here because I'm starting a new pet podcast called <laughs> When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Lemonade. I know it's no cliche, but I'm no spring chicken either. I decided to start it a while ago, but today's the day I'm actually putting it into practice because of what happened this morning. This morning, as church members began arriving at the church, we discovered that the church had been vandalized. Someone had broken a small window in, got into our building. They broke the alarm system. I'm not even sure if it was on or not, but they tore it off the wall and broke it into pieces. They made coffee, more than one pot, and threw it all over the kitchen. They took our communion cups, which are little cups that hold a little bit of grape juice and a little bit of um, wafer in it, it was really nice for COVID, and threw them all over. Sanctuary, kitchen, smashed them on the floor. They took things, they wrote nasty things in books and things that we had sitting out. Just trash the place for trashing the place sake. Funny thing is, is that most of the stuff was stuff that if they were hungry and they ate, we wouldn't have cared. If they were cold and wanted to get warm, okay, we can deal with that too. But they took food and just mashed it and threw it and there was edible food in the refrigerator if they were hungry. We have a microwave that could have cooked themselves something. We have couches in our lounge that they could have laid down in and got warm. But instead, they trashed the place. They left their fingerprints. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure something out there. We know that they were there not too long before we got there because they actually set up a candle and left it burning in an offering plate. And it's a two hour long candle and it was about a halfway gone. As the police are coming in, the parishioners are coming in and everything's a confusion and a mess. A man comes to the church and said he left his cigarettes in there, which eventually led to him confessing that he was in the building um, and that he cut his hand a little bit going through the window that was broken. Um, but there were other people in the building that actually did the damage. So what would he do with this information? Well, if he was trying to stop us from having Sunday service, it didn't work. We put the kids' Sunday school into the nursery. We took the, over the Sunday school classroom that's kind of split in half and opened it wide so that we could have church services there. We didn't have a piano, so we sang a cappella. And believe me, we made a joyful noise unto the Lord, which is okay, because that's what God says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We didn't have the fancy hymns, but we sang songs that were good and clear and to the point, such as Jesus loves me. Shall we break bread together on our knees? Let there be peace on earth and the doxology. You know, the sermon was awesome. We took prayer requests and we prayed for the people that broke into our building. We don't hate them. We love them and we're going to prosecute. Why? If they hadn't broke stuff or just did damage, they broke in for food or warmth. It's a whole different ball game. But when you come in and you do damage for no reason, you need to face your consequences. But besides that, this person, um, the one person, we don't know if there's others yet, we'll have to find out that we, we have to wait for uh, fingerprints and all that good jazz to come back and it'll take a couple weeks. But the point is, 
at least for a night, maybe more. This gentleman said he was homeless. Well, he'll have a nice warm bed and good food. Well, healthy food to eat for a couple of days. So where in this scenario does taking lemons and make lemonade? First of all, it's really pulled our congregation together. We banded together. We cheered together about, you know, yes, we did it. We got this service together. We prayed together for the people who broke into our church. And we can take this experience and use what we've learned from it to see what possible things we can do in God's service from here on out. Now, most of the time, making lemon from lemonades, making lemonade from lemons, you know what I mean. We'll be on the lighter side. We'll have some fun. Uh, we'll give you a place that you can leave comments at and tell me your story so that I can share it with others. I hope to make this a weekly, if not a bi-weekly, podcast. Obviously, being Pastor Nan, there's going to be a moral message to it. And if you can handle that, then you can handle the podcast. Nothing sensational. Well, nothing sensational that's going to kill, hurt the body of a 63-year-old lady, that's for sure. But I hope we have fun and we can communicate and um, turn a lot of frowns upside down and learning to get through this time with all the COVID and, the, and all the uh, SRV and RVS and everything else that's going around, the wars and rumors of wars, the shootings. We need some sunshine. We need to tend to take the bads and take the sour and make it into sweet lemonade. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed watching this. I hope to see you next week, maybe even later this week. Who knows? I'm flaky like that. But remember, all things happen. Not all of them for a reason we understand. But we can either choose to dwell in the negative or try to find the fun and a positive, no matter the situation. I know some situations are too hard to find the happy. Well, then pray to find the peace. May God bless you. Have a happy Turkey Day this week. Don't eat too much. And we'll see you next time. This is Pastor Nan signing off.